Hey YouTube, what is up? This is our guy from that one IndyCar video. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be making a meme. I'm sure if you've been familiar with meme humor, especially gaming meme humor, you've definitely seen this meme before where somebody basically photoshops a picture of them inside Minecraft. It's either them standing someplace inside Minecraft or it's like someone standing off a balcony looking down at a huge view but instead of being the real thing they photoshop minecraft on it and i've done this two times already but i'm gonna do one that's racing related i'm gonna hop onto minecraft and i'm gonna build my own indie car basically or f1 car any way you want to put it it kind of looks like both so it doesn't that it doesn't matter that much but i'm gonna go and make it inside minecraft take the screenshot from minecraft and then put it on my computer and we're gonna edit it all up together. So even though I have a Minecraft poster right next to my setup, I probably haven't played this game in months. Okay, we're in, we're actually right on the raceway. This is a raceway that I made inside Minecraft. It has a grandstand, it has some pit boxes. Wow, this is perfect timing. So we're gonna try and make sort of like a victory lane. There you go. This is where we're gonna take the picture we're gonna have to place the car here. Now, it's a good thing that I've already made the car inside this game. If you could look inside this hotel that I built. Yeah, I used to be addicted to Minecraft. This here is the, basically a Formula One car. We're gonna try and make a model version of this where I could basically just stand inside of it. So we'll need a block of quartz. We're gonna need some stairs. Gonna need black wool. That's gonna be for the tires. We're gonna need a button so it'll look like the tires are more realistic. We're also going to need some slabs. Okay, first thing we're going to start on is the wheels. We're going to put the wheels about here and here. Then it's about three blocks in the middle. Then there, there. I'm going to put a slab here, a full block here, and then stairs. Also, you can't even notice the difference between the car and the victory lane itself. So we're, we're, we might have to make some changes here. Okay, after some adjustments, I think this is going to be the final product. I changed the stairs around a little bit. It's going to be the rear wing. And besides that, I, I'm going to keep the slabs here. Now the goal is to Photoshop me standing inside here, right inside the middle of the car. And I'm going to have to put the wall back here. All right, I think I found the solution. So I didn't want to use black and white because then it'll get mixed up with the car. So I'm going to use like a dark gray and a light gray to make the car stand out from the wall behind it. We want it to look like the crew members standing behind the car. So we're probably going to put some villagers. Jesus Christ, what's happening out there? Okay, I think I found an even easier solution. We're just going to have to use these, these armor stands and we're going to have to put Steve heads on top of them. Okay, now that we have the armor stands down, we're gonna have to take a Steve head. And I plan to wear a red shirt inside this video, so we're gonna have to dye some armor. Um, okay, we're gonna take shirt, pants, boots. I mean, the boots probably aren't that necessary. We're gonna have to take some red dye. Where do you get that from? Okay, here's some red dye, and here's some ink sock. That's for the black dye. And then we're gonna dye the pants block, the shoes block, because I don't have red pairs of pants, and make the shirt red. And then after that, we have all of the crew members. They're gonna be standing right behind the car. I couldn't add too many of them because the world encountered the limit on how much armor stunt. Jesus, what's making all that noise? But then now we're gonna have to make some dispensers that's gonna dispense some fireworks in the background so it could look like we're really celebrating. I'm gonna have to go on my show for this one and pull out the redstone book. Okay, and we're back. After all that complicated circuitry that I was trying out down here, we have the fireworks that are gonna be right behind us. I mean, it's gonna work more like confetti, but that's gonna make it look a little bit more celebratory. And then we just have to time this perfectly to get the screenshot right. And there we go. And now that we've done everything that we can to make the in-game photo 
we're gonna go outside to get some better lighting and then I'm gonna take a picture of myself and then edit myself onto the computer. We're gonna be using this here Jeff Gordon shirt. I've used it a couple times to demonstrate. And we're also gonna be using this hat, this Jeff Gordon hat as well. We're gonna wear that. And now we got the outfit, guys. How does it look? I mean, I couldn't find a matching pair of pants or a matching pair of shirt. This is the most racing-like shirt. It's a Jeff Gordon crew shirt. I have a jacket on underneath there, which is probably gonna kill me if I don't take this off in the next 20 minutes. And then I have this Jeff Gordon hat kind of matches the shirt. Hopefully this could kind of look like a fire suit. Okay, and now that we've been done with the photo shoot, I have a selection of photos that I'm gonna choose from. I'm decidingly gonna pick this to go along with the picture that I've choose. This one seems very good. I'm gonna open up Inkscape. And by the way, what I'm using is Inkscape, and it's a free application that I use all the time for all of my editing. I've been using it since I was on Windows. It's also available on Mac. So if you can't afford like Adobe Photoshop, it's a perfect alternative. All right, and all I need to do is import said files. And there we go. Now, I've seen a couple tutorials on how to do this. I'm just gonna blast this real quick. So if you wanna cut out an image, right? I'm not gonna go through the full demonstration. If you wanna cut out something from image, it's a little bit different in Inkscape. So I'm just gonna go and do this. Cut right there, there back to the square and then I highlight it and then I set the clip and then I just saves this part here but I'm gonna do it on the entire part of me and I'm probably gonna cut off the legs a little bit so it could appear that I'm standing inside this mine this mine indie car so unfortunately my audio recording device just broke in the middle of me recording the outro but this is it this is the complete product of me I've resized myself to fit inside the indie car and then I've cut out the edges around myself so it looked like I'm actually in the photo. I also added the Verizon indie car series logo here, the DuPont logo that's on my shirt and of course the 24 logo because 24 ever. But if you guys want to see me do some more videos on meme related topics or see me do some more videos on indie car related topics just let me know as well as leave a like on the video. And if you wanna see some more content like this, just be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys later.